Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmaso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly for pricing at tmaso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing a limited edition of 650 pieces launched for the 2010 model year. This is the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore Grand Prix Chronograph. This limited edition in 650 pieces was joined by uh, two other versions of the Grand Prix, one in carbon, which was made in more units, and one made in platinum, which was made in fewer. This is by far the warmest looking and probably the most contemporary of the three. The timepiece is immense. Although 44 millimeters in diameter, it wears more like a 46, and we'll talk about that in a moment. It is 15.7 millimeters thick, and from lug to lug, and we're just including the case here, it is 55.4 millimeters across the wrist. If you include these little intermediate links, the plots as they're called, the total distance across the wrist is 59 millimeters. So this is going to require a He-Man arm. Let's take a quick look. It is fair to say that a Nick Heidfeld-sized Grand Prix driver probably isn't going to be wearing this watch. We're talking more like, say, Mark Webber. Now, the watch, of course, is broad, but because it is shaped, it has a little bit of a curvature to the lugs, I, I can wear it just. It's going to look huge on my wrist, but does it sit comfortably? Does it sit securely? Yes, it does. So you could wear it on a 16-centimeter circumference or larger wrist. Okay, taking a look at the hardware and the software racing themed. First of all, we have Alcantara inserts. You can see that the strap is primarily black calfskin, thoroughly bolstered to add volume. We have these striations on the top that are stitched in there. Alcantara, which is a highly fire-resistant, chemical-resistant, sweat-resistant, wear-resistant, super-premium synthetic suede that's used in ultra-high-performance cars, driving gloves, and, of course, race car touch points, such as seats, for example. Of course, the watch includes Alcantara on the bottom. If you want tons of the stuff, this watch delivers. And the strap, as you can see, is an Audemars Piguet factory strap in outstanding condition, no gouging and no crimping. You'll appreciate the fact that the watch includes screws and bars fixing the strap to the case, so it can't separate easily. It offers a lot more security than spring bars, more expensive to make but appropriate given the price and rarity of this watch, as well as its weight. You can see there's a simple matching rose gold Audemars Piguet pin buckle that has a little bit of polishing but is primarily satinated in its finish. Rolling back to the case, you can see there's a lot of sculpting here, and it's not just the the case. The case, as with all Royal Oaks and Offshores, is hand-finished. We have satination, we have polished beveling, we have a lot of nuance, including the continuation of the character lines of the bezel through the mid-case, but we also have these little carbon fiber appendages that uh, stick out on both sides. You can see that we have the look. If you can imagine the front end of a Lamborghini or a Ferrari or the back end of a high-performance car with its exhausts arrayed inside the lower diffuser, that's the look we have. It's, it's the front tray or it's the rear exhaust venturi of a high-performance car. On the reverse side, you can see we have more carbon fiber. In this case, the forged carbon comprises the shear guards for the chronograph pushers, which include a combination of black ceramic and rose gold. Now, they've been designed more explicitly to look like automotive exhaust stacks, the kind you'll see on Formula One cars, or would have seen on Formula One cars back in 2010. Uh, you can see that there is a crown. It is a screw-down crown. The watch is 100 meters water-resistant. This looks like the center lock nut on a racing wheel that's designed to be removed in a second and refitted using an air gun. So there's a lot of automotive imagery here. We have a combination of black ceramic on the underside of the bezel and then forged carbon on the top. And of course, carbon fiber is the material of choice for almost every non-mechanical component of a Formula One race car. You can also see that a treatment of the bezel here is a little bit non-standard as the outer faces of the bolts that link the bezel to the case have been evacuated around their borders. So you have these polished hex bolts, uh, but they're not sunken inside. They've been relieved and opened the exterior on each side. And again, this is designed to evoke the construction of Formula One cars. You could see there's a great deal of venting or grills in profile, as there are many heat exchangers on a Formula One car. And the look that you get right here is nothing so much as the appearance of a brake disc rotor, a vented brake disc rotor that's held in place by multiple nuts, 
Uh, in Formula One, typically those don't get changed, but in endurance racing, they often do. Now, of course, as we have a Grand Prix themed bezel, we have a Grand Prix themed dial, and it's designed to look like the instrument binnacle on a Formula One race car or a high performance road car such as a Ferrari. As a result, we have a lot of instrumentation style fonts and displays in multiple colors. The center dial is actually anodized aluminum, which is a rarity on Audemars Piguet dials. We'll do a quick loom shot. And as you can see, this is quite revealing. There is very little loom on this dial, but it does have some. Several different colors used. Red, gray, white, black, rose gold, yellow. It's a lot to take in, but it's fundamentally a standard Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore chronograph, which means you have some subsidiary setting modes, including hacking or stop seconds, plus a quick set date mechanism to rapidly cycle the date. Now you can see there's also a nice depth to this dial, so it's not just the color, it's also a great deal of nuance. My favorite feature here, and it's subtle, is the use of polished sub bezels for the sub registers. As you can see, the watch also includes a custom display case back, a very similar treatment that you'll is similar to what you'll see on the bezel. The Grand Prix includes a unique black and rose gold rotor, not seen on other Audemars Piguet models, but fundamentally this is caliber 3126 with the 3840 Dubois de Praz vertical clutch chronograph module. So this movement is automatic winding, bidirectional automatic with ceramic rotor bearings of 50 to 55 hour power reserve, stop seconds, a quick set date. It's braced against shock by a batwing style full balance bridge and a gyromax style free sprung balance. It beats way at 21,600 for per hour, and it's a good-looking movement, a combination of manual finish and machine finish. Again, once all this is sealed down, it is water-resistant to 100 meters, and while this strap is not water-resistant, you can get the rubber diver strap from Audemars Piguet if you care to go swimming with your watch. And because it uses a vertical clutch chronograph module, when you do start the chronograph, there's no jump or stagger to the motion of the seconds hand. Reach out to T. Masso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details of this Royal Oak Offshore Grand Prix chronograph.